Okay, what do we have here? Advanced Paris. Back in 2018, I went to High End Munich and I saw this Advanced Paris CD player. Not this particular CD player, but you know, a CD player with Advanced Paris brand. Without further ado, I opened the box, starting my unboxing regimen, and I was greeted by Quick Start Manuel. And I can see a pair of RCA cable and two AA batteries. The CD player is wrapped with Advanced Paris branded cloth to ensure there is no scratch being done towards the body. The top cover is stamped with Advanced Paris brand, and the player itself feels sturdy and has a good weight to it. The front fascia is made of polycarbonate, shiny, and it comes with a protective shield to ensure there's no scratch being made during transport. The buttons are cute, very tactile, and has a very nice click to it. And now it's time to peel off the protective layer. Ooh yeah, sexy. And at the back, you'll encounter XLR balance output, RCA unbalanced output, a SPDIF coax output, and Toslink optical output. To the right, you can see the voltage selector, detachable power cord, and the power switch. And now for my favorite segment, let's void my warranty. Opening the top cover, I can immediately see the niceness of this particular unit. Every component have been designed efficiently and very neatly. And surprise, surprise, at this price, the player uses toroidal transformer to ensure low EMI and RFI. Now you can see the analog stage of the CD player. Another surprise, they use Wolfson DAC. No wonder I like the sound quality so much. I know Wolfson DAC is not the in thing anymore, but for my leisurely listening sessions, I prefer the musicality of Wolfson DACs in general. Going back to the innards of the CD player, you can see the transport is actually floating as the drive is sitting on springs at every corner. They are located somewhat hidden, so yeah, it's kind of difficult to see, but you see those three shiny thingy? That is one of the springs. Now we move on to the remote control. It feels nice, feels well balanced in my hand. It reminds me of the remote from Macintosh, actually. All the buttons are clearly laid out and the buttons have very nice clicky feel to it. This remote can also be used to control Advanced Paris integrated amp, all-in-one devices and preamp. So now let's power it up. And yes, those are tubes. They remind me of Luxman CD players with tube buffer. Nice tray loading, because I absolutely hate slot loading. I would prefer the speed for tray out and tray in to be slower, but eh, you know, it's just nitpicking. The most important part anyway is the sound quality. And the sound quality of this player is extremely warm in a very good sense. Very analog sounding without the snap, crackle and pop sound from vinyl. Even when I use the Hypex amplification from Macintosh MHD300, the sound through my MK Sound S150 speakers remained very analog, remains very warm. And after about a month listening to at least 40 to 50 discs, I still love the sound from the CD player. And for the asking price, it is still a very good player. Especially because I consider this player to be an entry-level audiophile CD player. So what do you think about this video? Share your thoughts in the description. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Oh, and like, share and subscribe.